Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So we are continuing our dental anatomy sessions. So today's session is about maxillary second premolar. So far we finished maxillary central, lateral, canine, first premolar and mandibular. So we have three systems of tooth numbering in universal system. The right second maxillary premolar will be four and the left second premolar will be 13 okay so this is central lateral canine first premolar second premolar first second third molar central lateral canine first premolar second premolar first second third molar in sigmundi palmar system it will be 5 because it starts like 1 to 8 central lateral canine first premolar second premolar on both side so it will be just like this and FTA system it will be 1 5 and 2 5 okay so the 1 and 2 is a quadrant and 5 is a tooth number in each quadrant now we have the chronology that is uh, the first evidence of calcification it is 2 to two and a half years then enamel completed at around 6 to 7 years then eruption by 10 to 12 years and root completion by 12 to 14 years and the dimension of tooth it is 8.5 millimeter crown length 14 uh, root length then mesiodistal diameter of crown is 7 and it is 5 at the cervix and the buccolingual diameter is at 8 uh, 9 sorry 9 and 8 at cervix and the mesial curvature line is 1 mm and the distal one is 0 so we'll start with the buccal aspect so as you see here the outline is almost like a trapezoidal with uh, the mesial outline is slightly convex whereas the distal one is more convex and cusp is a shorter one with less pointed and the mesial slope of the cusp is shorter than the distal slope and tip is as you can see here the tip is displaced to the mesial side and the contact areas are at mesial it is at the junction between middle and occlusal one third and the distal is at the middle of middle one third and there is a buccal and cervical ridges the cervical line is convex uh, in regard to the root and the root is a single tapering from cervical to apical with a distal curved apex regarding the lingual aspect the lingual convergence is there and there is reversed outline with respect to mesial and distal and lingual cusp is sharp and it is almost same length as the buccal cusp now the mesial aspect the outline is trapezoidal the buccal and lingual are slightly convex and cusps are almost same length and there is greater distance between the cusp which widen the occlusal surface because it is a posterior teeth and the crest of curvature on the buccal side it is at the junction between middle and cervical and on the lingual side it is at the middle of the middle one third on the buccal side it is at the junction between middle and cervical one third on the lingual side it is at the middle of middle one third and the aspect is a little bit uh, convex and smooth with no depressions and mesial marginal ridge is more occlusally present than the distal marginal ridge just like any other teeth and the cervical line is concave uh, with respect to the root regarding the root from the mesial side it is single broad buccolingually with relatively blunt apex and there is a shallow developmental depression on the distal aspect it is almost similar to the mesial aspect the distal contact area is wider and more cervical uh, and distal marginal ridge is more cervical the straighter uh, cervical line is present compared to the mesial one and there is a deeper developmental depression whereas the occlusal aspect 
the oval or round shaped symmetry there is cusps both uh, at the same uh, size with uh, wide distance in between them and marginal ridges they are thick strong and well developed there is presence of central groove which is short with multiple supplemental grooves and there is two triangular fossa which is near to each other uh, distal triangular fossa is larger than the larger and deeper than mesial triangular fossa now uh, we need to study the comparison with maxillary first and second premolar on the buccal aspect on the buccal aspect uh, on the mesial side the outline is concave and distal is less concave here whereas the second premolar mesial is slightly convex and distal is more convex and mesial slope is larger than the distal one tip is displaced to distal mesial slope is shorter than the distal tip is displaced to mesial side contact area on the first premolar mesial just uh, occlusal to the uh, middle of the middle one third and distal at the junction between middle and occlusal one third on the second premolar uh, mesial at the junction between middle and occlusal one third whereas a distal at the middle of middle one third from the lingual aspect on the first premolar it is shorter than 1 mm buccal 1 mm shorter than the buccal one but it is same as the buccal on the second premolar on the first premolar the lingual cusp is sharp although the whole lingual surface is convex and the second premolar the cusp is sharp on the mesial aspect with regard to first premolar uh, there is canine fossa uh, mesial marginal developmental groove is there uh, here the smooth and convex with no depression with regard to root bifurcation level is at mid root here it is only single and broad root there is developmental depression in both cases on the distal aspect there is no canine fossa here there is no mesial marginal developmental groove but on the second premolar it is almost similar to mesial aspect with regard to root the bifurcation level at the apical one third on the first and there is deeper developmental depression present on the second premolar and the occlusal aspect first premolar outline is hexagonal and second premolar it is more oval or rounded and the cusp buccal and lingual cusp uh, same in both cases marginal ridges are thicker ones in second premolar the depression in first premolar uh, we have long central groove here we have short central groove then the mesial marginal developmental groove is there there is supplemental uh, grooves are present on second premolar two triangular fossa in both the cases so that is the comparison between maxillary first and second premolar very commonly asked uh, short essay the difference between maxillary first and second premolar that's all about uh, the maxillary second premolar next session uh, will be about the maxillary molars that is first second and third molars so i'll come up with maxillary first molar thank you